Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. Really, I'm very always very happy that I have people watch my videos. I really, really enjoy having you guys here with me to play this fantastic game. This really awesome, awesome RPG, and you know it as well as I do. If not better, because I've, uh, well, all I've played from, well, not all I've played, but most of what I've played from The Age of Decadence, it's been on camera, so you guys know all, if you've been following my playthroughs, you know all that I know and all that I've missed on camera as well and more if you have a game for yourself. And uh, so let's see, I'm buying and selling. Let's see, I'm probably gonna sell a bunch of stuff because let's see, let's see, let's make choices. I don't need this. Oh, I have two, okay. So you take that. I don't probably need this, but still. Ooh, the Crimson Eye, a heavy glowing red sphere encased in a bronze reliquary. What the hell is that supposed to be? I don't remember picking that up. Uh, I don't know what that is. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see what else I'm gonna sell. I guess Lord Master Stir. Is this the woman, the man's thing? Man's version of this? Maybe. Uh, hmm. So, that's, that's pretty much it. Let's see what you sell. Actually, let me trade. So can I just click that? There you go. Let's see what else I have here lying around that I don't need. Not much. My weight is kind of problematic. Ooh, you have new weapons. A Kemetian bow. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Not really. Eh, not really. The reload speed is zero. Well, yeah. It's basically... Bows basically work with action points. There's no real reload with those. Uh, I've seen all of this. We got a repeat, repeating crossbow. We got, oh, I like, oh, mm. this is really, oh, the armor penalty, though, the armor penalty is good, 16, it is really good, I mean, okay, these two are comparable, this one is a little bit better because of the hardness, but this one has, is better, I like this one, I like this armor over here, let's trade that one in. See what else you sell. Probably not much because I don't have weight. I don't have uh, carry weight for me. Let's see. Let's see. New armor, everyone. New armor. I have this one as well. I'm gonna sell this crap. I don't need it. So heavy. Damn it. Okay. So this one has damage reduction seven, hard hardness fifteen, and the maximum action points is eleven, which is perfect because I have eleven action points. The armor penalty though is sixteen, which affects our dodge chance. Uh, the critical, the versus critical chance is 40, is 50 rather than 40, which is pretty good. I think that one is gonna, yeah, I think this one is considerably better than the one we had before. Uh, so let's go with that. Hopefully, yeah, it's kind of a balance, really. It's, eh, really, I'm never, I don't know. I'm probably gonna need to bring my, um, my dodge skill up by a little bit. How many of these do I have? They weigh 10 pounds, it's kind of... Oh, by the way, before I said that Canadians use the metric system, no, they don't. No, they don't. I, I kind of think I said that one in this playthrough. Yeah, but no, they don't. And the reason why I said that is, is because the main developer is Canadian, as far as I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he is. Vince the Weller, of course. I think Oscar is from... I think he's from Argentina or something. He might be living in the US or something. I don't know. I don't really... I don't really remember. It's been a while since I dealt with these guys on the forums. I don't... Uh, I don't have time to spend, I used to spend a lot of time in the official forums of uh, the Age of Decadence, but not anymore. This is Calabrio, hello, so you are indeed the leader of the Thieves Guild, hi, 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 are you ready to go? Not yet, I forgot that uh, that's what you wanted me to do, to go, let's not go, I'm just looking around, see if there's anything interesting around, nope, there is not, nice pot over here, what is that supposed to, I like that, like that very much, what the hell is that, hmm, very cool. Reminds me of a flower pot that we had when I was a kid, but it was a little bit different. Basically, it was like a vine, but it was very much like this, and I, it brings memories to me. Sometimes I have a dream where... Oh, boy. Sometimes, sometimes memories. Not, not necessarily happy memories, just, I guess, safety of home, which is something that Clapta, does, Clapta doesn't really have right now. Not many people have in this a world of uh, the Age of Dagonus. Good. The Northern Passage will take you to the tunnels. One of my men will show you the way. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do, then? Where the hell's your man? Okay. Let's just enter the tunnels. I don't really know what to expect, if I'm honest. I have no idea. 
really don't know. This looks like, uh, doesn't look like those stone metal -y things construction from before the war. You follow Glabrio's men into one of the old tunnels, crawling over debris and trying to avoid thick, seemingly empty cobwebs. Seemingly empty. Twice the men have to turn back because of the recent cave-ins and seek alternative routes, but eventually they take you to the your destination, a dark side tunnel that smells of dust and mold and something else that you can't quite figure out. Watch out for the traps. They are old and rusty, which doesn't make them any less deadly. Look, good luck. That's it? That's all the apple I'm going to get? Alright. I'm not going to show it to you twice, so pay attention. He sets up a simple bolt trap and shows you how to spot and disarm it, increasing your understanding of all mechanical things. And that gives me... Skill points! What? Really? Okay. Apparently, I it, it, it should give us training in traps, which is something I'm not too bad at, all things considered. Uh, no, it doesn't, because these don't have training. Only these have training. Okay, so did he increase my trap knowledge? Because if he did... Okay, I don't... I don't uh, let's not do that like that. Let's... Because uh, I want to maximize the amount of knowledge that I have. I want to have at least... So, I have... Yeah, indeed. So, I'm going to bring that one by up by one. There it is. So, Glabrio is good. Let's have a, a chat here with Glabrio. Tell him that I... I I like to pronounce it Glabrio and not Glabrio. Glabrio. Because you, could, cause you ha could have the R to be like an R instead of an odd. Uh, yeah, G Glabrio sounds a little bit fancier to me. It would uh, be more or less how you'd pronounce it in Portuguese. Glabrio. Uh, you, you wouldn't say O at the end. It would be e uh, with a U. Glabrio. So, let's go in. And he increased our trap skill to 4. That was good. That was good. Okay, so if it is indeed Ford, I could save another one if I increased it to... Nah, I couldn't. I couldn't. So that was the maximum skill points that I could save right there. We got... Okay, so this is pre-war. You guys, if you followed me from for, for Kato's adventure, you know what this means. You know exactly what this means. We got a dis dexterity shack over there. There's got to be traps around, though, so let me save the game. There we go. What is that supposed to mean over there? I don't... Oh, man. It's the first time we're seeing traps. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Very, very expecting, or rather, very familiar. This, uh, let's see. Trap success. You managed to disarm the trap. Good, good, good. Okay, so I can squeeze through the hole over here. And I can go over there. I kind of want to disarm the traps. Let's see if I, they get added to my inventory. They don't. So it's, there's no point risking my life. So let's just come back here. And let's lock... Oh, boy. Come on. Really? Ugh. I mean, I, I have five points of that. Why would I... Okay. I could go there. Let's not go there right now. Let's go over here. Be very careful. I'm not sure if Klepto will stop if she spots a trap. And looking at my second screen while I'm doing this is not advisable. Which is what I was doing. So let's see. Trap success. Good, good, good. And another dexterity shack. Okay, so I want to go there. So let's go there. Come on, Klepta. There you go. Let's go here. Because my dexterity is very, very nice. So I'm going to be able to do this. Right? There you go. You take another step and then you see it. Yeah, I see it. What the hell? <laughs> that that line right there, yeah. As it's starting, un as it starts uncoiling, it's a desert scolopendra, a very aggressive and poisonous centipede, preying on anything that walks and crawls. Its powerful legs are fast enough to outrun a man, and its back plates are as hard as any armor. The horn-covered jaws spo sport a pair of sharp and curved fangs that inject poison as they tear into flesh. The scolopendra hisses and raises itself up, getting ready to strike. What are you waiting for? Kill it! Yeah, oh... Crap, the dodge works right there! Okay. Oh, boy. Nah, I don't think I'm ready. Because I have barbed things. Let's just think... Okay, can I push it away? No, I can't... What the hell? How is that? 6% chance? What do you mean 6% chance? And he didn't hit me. Oh, crap. This is not gonna work. There's no way this is gonna work. I mean, if I hit it, if I hit her in the front, it should be. I don't know. These these bugs are. I don't really know. I I don't really know. Okay, so I there's no way I can do this properly. 
Jesus Christ, this is... I'm just gonna try and hit it once. Okay, so the damage is quite good. I think, I mean, the armor absorbs eight. I think uh, um, an, an average thing here would be a little bit better than, uh, uh, you know, the, not average, the regular missile would be a little bit better fighting against that thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna need a way better understanding of this wolf situation before I do that. Um, so I have, I need regular, and before, by, by understanding, I mean, I need to be... I lose maximum eat points by that? Huh. Way to make traps deadly, then. Way to make traps... What the heck? What kind of trap would that be, though? Huh. Let's see. I should be able to spot it again? Come on, game. Don't mess with me. Yeah, I need to save before I enter that. I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see what is on the other end, though, before I, I go there. Let me disarm the trap from over there. There's going to be another trap over here. Yeah, the Scolopendra. It's actually the same exact... It might be from Latin. I'm not sure if that's the name that... Uh, that... that those things are given in English. We'll see. Okay, we managed to squeeze through, which is good. I suppose this was a tougher dexterity shack, maybe? I don't know. Because uh, there's no real way of avoiding that thing. Is it, it? It has to be in here. So, if I can... Let's see, sneak in? No, I'm not going to be able to sneak in, but I am going to be a little bit farther away, which is good. So, what I'm going to do here is I am going to go burst ahead and I'm, first I'm going to use a couple of these. So there you go. I'm now at 8 points in crossbow, which brings my hit chance to 44, which is absolutely hideous. Um, hmm, defense penalty, yeah, minus 76% chance to hit. That is... Okay. It's, it's only wounded. It's taking poison damage, though. And it's in a good position. I'm taking poison damage as well. I am so gonna die. Four damage. Yeah, I am so gonna die. Let's aim for the head and hope that I can... Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's right. Uh, let's go with the regular. And aim for the head. And it miss, of course. Miss, of course. Of course. What do you think this is? And the second miss. Yeah, this thing is not killable. Two hit kill. Yeah, I died. I didn't read the description, by the way. I should have. That uh, You guys go ahead and, and read that one. It's going to be for you. I'm, it's going to be for me as well, because I'm going to rewatch that one. But uh, apparently I can't go in there. I, I mean, maybe the dodge would work a little bit better. I could bring up my... I could I could do this. Uh, not that one. Uh, I could do this. Yeah, would be kind of uh, good. Uh, but I don't know. I probably can come back here later. But maybe not. We, well, we are through. We are through. Oh, I spot a trap. So she she stopped. Oh, no. Trap failure. Come on. Really? Are you going to be like that? I kind of want to go there. Damn it. I don't know. Well, I'm going to go with lockpicks rather than traps. If it's all right with your highness. So let's uh, figure it, this one out because I want to see... Well, I don't... I, I, I want to go with lockpicks because there's going to be a few lockpicking... Scal s s s shacks? Yep, shacks. And a few lockpicking shacks later on in the game. And I want to pass those. And if these one can be, this one can't be passed... Oh, come on. Don't tell me. There you go. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now I should be able to squeeze through this. And what do we have here? What do we have here? Something that can kill that thing with a blast? Oh, don't tell me this is going to be just that. Come on, I don't need that. I'm not a craftsman. <sighs> and me, even if I was. And I don't know why I try to to mimic a, ho a horse or no, more, more like a hox. Ox with O-X, not the H. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be fun. Should we try it again? Should we try it again with uh, six dodge and eight crossbow? Is that a thing that maybe is going to work to our advantage? Maybe. This thing is... Well, one thing I know for sure. This thing is absolutely hideous. So what I'm going to do instead is instead of going with a burst, I should go with... Uh, that was lucky. That was our first... Okay, so yeah. I'm dealing enough damage. So maybe... Okay, that's that was kind of bad. Don't miss. Okay, let's see what happens. Now with the dodge. Yeah, I was going to say maybe we don't need the dodge if I'm dealing this much damage. But that dodge right there. That dodge right there. Okay, let's go with the regular again. 
and go for the legs again. Because that diminishes its chance to dodge. Another poison damage right there. And another dodge. Very, very nice. That one was not nice. And I'm taking four points in damage. I miss. I don't miss. And I don't miss. Can I go away? Thank you. Is it going to kill me? Is it going to go over there? Don't go over there. Yeah, stay there. Okay. I am poisoned again. I might die. So we'd only last. Almost dead. Okay, so we can do this. This is definitely doable. And there we go. Huh. I'll be damned. No! That was a terrible mistake. Damn it. Damn it. You try to get up, but you can't. So I don't know how the slaves found me down here. But apparently they did. But, you know what? This is doable. This is definitely doable. So, that was my mistake. That was so terrible what I did right there. That was so terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna cut here and I'll join you when I kill this bastard. How about that? Be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so, yeah. It was uh, third try. This was the third try. Was very lucky again. Uh, this time around I got a couple of knockdowns, which was very, 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 very nice. And I'm gonna try and do it with a burst at the end. I should be able to kill it. Okay, didn't need to waste my my arrows, but now it's definitely dead. Good, finally. That was that was a real mess up on my end. I'm sorry for that. I really I thought it was dead, but it was not. It was just knocked out. Ooh. Oh, it's just normal poison. I thought it wasn't gonna be like the deadliest poison ever, but it's not. It's just normal poison. Okay, well, at least I gained another body count <laughs> and a bit of experience. Okay, now, uh, well, we have set up... Oh, we, that's our path. That's our path right now. I can go there. And... Mm, oh, this is good. This is actually sellable. This is not terrible at all. We got Ganazar Tunnel Key. Oh, boy. I think we hit a jackpot here. We got a net. We got crossbow that I can't carry apparently but I can carry that either can carry that I don't need this one do I need no it's a standard one it's crappy it's it's not good so let's carry that one and we are good to go sorry guy you're gonna be dead there forever so oh I forgot about this one because I I saw this oh, okay so that was yeah I saved right there so I can't pick this up or pick this open it's kind of a shame really and I can't pick this open either. Hmm. Huh. Way to bite me in the ass, game. Wait, way to bite me in the ass. Damn it. What the hell's the key for then? You can twirl it around your fingers to impress the local yokels. Why? What is that for? Huh. Well, now we're a badass that we will we'll kill everyone. Let's go around and see if the. I, I'm pretty sure the key is not gonna open those. Uh, that door, the door, uh, the doors at the, at the beginning of this level. Pretty sure it's not gonna open, but at least we killed that thing. I, wa I wanted to kill it, so it was a good thing, I guess. Uh, we, I don't think we needed to, but uh, if I can, I, I should be able to come back down here. We are, yeah, okay, of course, we're not gonna be able to do that. Let's go through here because it's faster. And here we are. This guy's dead and naked. That's fine. I don't really see a way of getting in there. When I get my skill points, yeah, I, I, I said at the beginning of the game that I wanted to specialize. And as you can see, I'm very specialized in these, so I might go with that, but I don't know. I really don't. We're just a killer. That's what we are. Just a killer. Oh. What awaits us now? This is still not the end. Lockbox. Not a safe. That No, no, no. It's not a safe. It's a lockbox. So we could go back to the tunnels. But where are we right now? Let me look over here and see that we are at the castle basement tunnels. So this is where Meru... Oh, that's the key. Wait a minute. What the hell is that for? I wish I had more lockpicks. Damn it. Damn it all. Man, I kind of... Oh, boy. There, there, there would be a way to complete this. What the hell is this? We haven't seen this before, have we? This is obviously a generator. It looks like a generator, I think. This is a dangerous pit. Let's look. 
The walkway has collapsed a long time ago. You aren't sure you can jump across and you're dead certain you don't want to fall down. Judging by the way your skin prickles, the magic is leaking into the air. The, the sooner you take this leave this place, the better. So Dexterity is going to be able to save our skin right there. That's fine. Let's get out of here. So I... Yeah, but I want to come back down here. It's, a sh it's such a shame that I can't. So maybe... Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm weighing in my, my decisions. Let's see what is in here. Another? Ah! Do you see what's happening right now? <laughs> Jesus. And there's nothing I can do. It doesn't kill me. There's nothing, there's no reason to be here. Absolutely no reason. I'm not sure if I lost any, I, I wasn't paying attention. I think I didn't, because I, 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 I keep a cl Okay. My maximum hit points is still 33, I think. So if it is, uh, let me, so let's go into alchemy. I can brew a couple of these. Let's create, thank you. Let's create another one. Create, thank you. Okay, so we have a couple of those. I will be able to use one. And that brings me up to 23. Let me save here. And let's use another. And that, yeah, 33. Okay, so that's good. That's good enough. But losing maximum hit points is not acceptable. So 23 should be enough for now. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is gnarly as hell. So that is... I Because I don't know if this thing is going to... It's gonna take away my health. I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't seem to be. Let's jump. Just jump over it. What? You soar into the air like an eagle, but gravity puts a stick in your wheel, forcing you to crash ha land hard. You wake up from the pain I from the pain in your leg. Looks like your ankle is twisted, if not broken. Either way, you can't walk. You try to get up, but you feel weak and nauseous. The leaking magic is swirling around you, draining you of your energy. You close your eyes and wait for the inevitable. How the hell am I supposed to get through this, then? How the hell? Is it a mask that I'm wearing? I, I have this thing. How the hell am I supposed to get through this? There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Well, I have the autosave here. So we need to change our approach. That's what we need. Okay, so we're gonna gain our skill point in traps, I think. Yes. Okay, so we need to change our approach. We can't kill the centipede, uh, no matter how awesome that is, because it is awesome. I liked that one. I liked finding the key, even though I don't, I'm not really sure what it is for. Let's disarm that trap and let's do it like this. Let's go through here. So we can't really go through. Okay, so, uh, I don't want to open that because that's death. So let's go here. Let me save the game here. And, uh, through here. So I'm, 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 I'm doing math in my head, trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to be able to get through this place. Okay, so I picked the door. I don't need the key. That's a good thing. I don't need the key. So this way is death and I need throwing. I need throwing. I need throw. I don't need lockpicks. I need throwing. But how? How much throwing though? Let's see. Throwing. Use a grappling hook. Failure. Okay. So can I use the grappling hook again? I can. So let's see. Uh, let's see how much throwing I need. It's kind of a shame because my throwing is kind of crap, even though it's actually very, very nice and useful. Let's see. Maybe two. Hopefully two. Okay, not two. Let's go with three. Sorry if this is kind of boring, but such is the way. 
you throw oh your throw is successful the hook finds purchase you test the rope a few times but it seems to be holding okay let's swing ourselves to the other side and you manage to land on the other side without killing yourself in the process perfect so now we should be able to go back and we didn't You trigger a trap and take a bolt to the gut. It's a bad wound and you're ready to, you are already in bad shape. Time to check out. Damn it. Damn it. Man, the skill shacks. I'm fine with the skill shacks. It's just uh, I need to figure out how to get through here. But you know what? I think I'm gonna... I don't know. I kind of wanted to kill a centipede. I kind of wanted to open these things as well. Uh... So, how much traps do I need? I need another trap? So, it, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. And let's go with uh, that. Yeah, we need we need these. Otherwise, it's not really a thing that we can do. That's what gets your character. It's the, the small little skills that you need in order to progress. So, this thing is deadly. Traps. Okay, so I need another one. Honestly? Jesus, I'm gonna have to replay because I, I can save at least five skill points here then. I need six traps. Whoa, this is gnarly. The catacombs are a deadly place. We got a, what appears to be an elevator over here. Okay. And hopefully no more traps, but probably more traps. Nope, there are guards. There are guards over there. On this side, we have what? Yeah, that, that way back. And then another elevator over there. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna break the episode here. We need. Oh, we can peek through the hole? Okay, let's do that. Before I go away for now. You peek through the keyhole and see two guards next to another door. Looks like you found a way into the castle. You can return to Glabrio now or take care of the guards while they are there. While you're there. Okay, so traps and alchemy. That's gonna blow up everything. Failure. Now, of course. Your improvised bomb goes off early. In fact, it goes off when you're still holding in, still, still holding it in your hands. The explosion throws you against the wall and you blank out. When your eyes, when you open your eyes, you see the guards standing next to you. A quick self-inventory suggests that you have several cracked ribs, a minor, hopefully concussion, and hopefully minor concussion, and you seem to be missing a few fingers. Nothing a good sawbone can fix, provided you get out of this mess. How the hell am I gonna get out of this mess if I'm missing a few fingers? How the hell is that gonna be a thing? Am I really missing a, f a few fingers? Man, and these guys are gonna kill me already. Isn't this just lovely? Oh boy, this area. This area, my god. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna replay this one. I'm gonna re I'm gonna join you over here. Not dead and not missing fingers. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Age of Deaconess. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.